Hello and welcome to the creative commentary for James, a short film. This probably would have been made years ago if I had... The movie didn't exist years ago. This probably would have made a lot sooner if I knew about this a function in Windows Movie Maker called the narration feature. Where it allows me to narrate over video as I'm watching it so I can pick up things in real time. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? See, the film starts out uh, in a kitchen setting. If you rewind it back just there for a second, you can see the stove light. I don't know why I decided to go from darkest light to dark again. You'll also see that when I filmed this, I had an incessant habit of just staring at the camera for no reason. Like, it would make sense if the camera was an object, but it's not. I just couldn't stop looking at it. I put the milk back up here, I think? Or maybe I still have it? I don't know what I was doing. Like, I didn't scrub this, I didn't do anything like that. There's no storyboarding or nothing. Is my sound off? I can't hear it. Hold on, why can't I hear it? But it might just be something. Yeah, it's because I'm using the narration. It filters out all the um, audio. Anyway. So you see there, James picked up his uh, laugh cup. He, had, I don't, he didn't have uh, live or love, so sorry. So this whole first bit of this, like, there's no real point to this film, so I guess all of it's filler. This right here was a scene supposed to be showing, like, um, James might be self-conscious about his weight. Because his toes curl up. You can see just a big frame of light right there in the living room. I filmed this with my phone at the time. And it did not like anything with light on it at all. Coming up on, I guess, if anything in this film has a point... It would be this upcoming scene, which the camera should switch now, maybe? Yeah, okay. It's also lagging for me, so it may have switched 10 minutes ago. But James is looking through a family photo album, which introduces one of the core themes of his character in this story. He just stays there, looking and flipping through. Just not really feeling anything. Not really. He, I looked at the camera again because I'm an idiot. He's not really looking at the photos to remember them or appreciate them. Or He's just looking through them to remind himself. Why did I let this scene be so long? Okay. Now, I don't remember if I actually did a, uh... Hallway. Did I do a hallway shot? Oh, I did. Okay. I didn't think I would have done that. Nice. So, James walks into this room. Which, if you see that computer over there in the corner, that's the space I did all the Chris Graves videos at, which you should totally go watch on the Chris Graves YouTube channel. Link in the description. Uh, and linked on my channel, I think. If it's not, I should do that. All those videos I've ever were great. Um, so James right here, he's looking very, very sad. He's looking very, very distraught. He goes over and picks up a Pinkie Pie plushie from the hit kids show, My Little Pony. And he holds it very dear to his heart. And for the idea I had behind this film and the idea I had behind James, 
Obviously, in a film with no dialogue and no other characters, I could only get across what I could convey through these moments, where James holds the Pinkie Pie plushie, and then he reads the Bible. This, um, the Pinkie Pie plushie belonged to his daughter that he lost in a car accident to, or not really no specific time frame earlier. And I'm going to run out of time. What happens if I just keep talking? I guess we'll find out. And that film was shorter than I thought. Uh, so I guess I'll do the rest of the explanation here. Um, so James, the uh, character in that film, was a father who um, lost his daughter in maybe a car crash or maybe something else non-Pacific. It wasn't really ever important. But James spends all of his time, all of his moments, repeating those cycle right there. Because he, he feels uh, he feels guilty one way or the other. He can't ever, you know, replace that. He just, he's just like that, you know? And uh, it was also a bit of an inside <laughs> Naming him James was a uh, a big inside joke because at one time every there was just like one character in every story called James and the character would die but this character didn't die um someone else did so yeah